Welcome to Saturday Morning Prayer. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, A Song of Creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 62 and 63, which begin, My soul waits in silence for God, for from him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my strong tower, so that I shall never be moved. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the songs. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation, receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The reading from the Bible today is from John chapter 8, beginning at verse 12, finishing at verse 30. In verse 12 we read, Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, a song of redemption. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the power, the kingdom, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O gracious God, whose apostle James left his father and all that he had, and without delay obeyed the call of your Son, Jesus Christ. Pour out upon the leaders of your church the same spirit of self-denying service, by which alone they may have true authority among your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to make intercessions, prayers and thanksgivings. Angela Ashwin notes, Prayer is God's gift to us, a banquet of good things to feed our inner life as we respond to the invitation to his feast of peace, forgiveness, challenge and love. Lord and Heavenly Father, you've brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, My our Lord. Amen. Alone, the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us I praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Foes, May the peace I of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. And lives like arrows pierce me. I'll fix my heart on righteousness. I'll look to him who hears me.